Hi everyone, McBeard here, doing a live deck guide for you. We actually played some amazing highlights, so it's very easy for me to jump right in here and record this for you right now because, let me tell you, Mahakam Forge is cooler and cooler the more I play it. And this version that I'm playing right here is not the Shoop Radia version that you may have seen earlier. This one is using more good two-ups for dwarves. But I have made some more curious decisions, even though this is probably not, you know, this isn't the curious forge. So, what's really good about Mahakam Forge is a combo that you can play with Yarpin, uh, which allows you to, you play Yarpin, who has armor on him, and you could already have armor on him because of the Iron Falcon Troubadour, which I'm also playing to place armor on him before, or he could be given armor with cards like the Miner, or, um, what's his name, Polly, if you wanted to run him. Although, I don't, I don't run Polly. So Yarpen comes down with like three, four armor, and then you give him another five armor. So you drop Yarpen, sometimes I dropped him at 15 in one game. It's an amazing closer. It's an amazing closer. And um, it's just, it keeps you within reach. And being within reach of a game often can be about the carryover you're able to turn out uh, in the first round. So actually having a closing play that's a ton of points it doesn't really feel like you're wasting it as much when it actually comes down to you securing a win with carryover because there are, you know, carryover is a great feeling. I haven't, you know, having that blue coin protection, knowing your opponent can't give you the open pass. It's a bit less relevant now because I think we're in a bleed meta or I'm just unlucky. People like to bleed me because they know who I am, but uh, getting bled a lot doesn't really mean that much, I guess, if you just get outpointed. But between Zoltan and Gabor, the resilience is great. Gabor because he's an engine, and Zoltan because he comes down with a lot of armor, and I'm actually running this card slyly here, the Dryad Enchantress on Zoltan. So here's the pro tip for today before we get into the gameplay. You play Gi Dryad Enchantress on Zoltan, who has five armor in this deck, and that means Zoltan gets five vitality. Vitality and bleed, but vitality is a status that is not removed when the resilience triggers for the carryover. So Zoltan can carry over with the vitality on it. It's a cool little trick. But other than that, we're doing a lot of grid dwarf things. It's, um, I will talk quickly about cards you're, you'll see in the gameplay, but I don't recommend. I switched out the pyrotechnician. The pyrotechnician is just a little bit too bad when you're going up against spiders with Erica Swarm and Congregate, when you just can't guarantee that you're gonna hit that four because Honestly, playing Miner and Troubadour and Marauder are usually just better first plays, better proactive plays. You have a lot of those in this deck. So I don't recommend them. Um, and I do recommend one Mahakam Guard, absolutely. And I also recommend perhaps running the Volunteers, which I'm not running. Instead, I'm running Berserkers. I've got the one Defender and the one Enchantress. But this is a very thin deck. The reason why I'm not running the Volunteers which is the thinning card for dwarves, is because I'm running Royal Decree and Call of the Forest and Novigradian Justice. So these are very, it's a very thin deck to begin with. So for those reasons, I feel like I don't need to thin here when Novigradian Justice is kind of a more powerful way to do that. And much, I'm much more interested in doing this early on especially when you want a Novigradian Justice out the Mahakam Guard. He comes down with an extra buddy right away. So you play Zoltan, you boost stuff up, and then you play the Mahakam Guard with Novigradian Justice. Sometimes you have Oak to take it, sometimes Yarpin, but you've got tempo. It's good. Check out the highlights. I know you're going to really enjoy them because they're amazing games, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Erden's very interesting. Congregate. Okay. Last words. Congregate. Hmm. Yeah, I want to play bad cards in this one, I think. i to be really careful, though. We have Yarpin, so I can start stacking armor on Yarpin with this. Um... Double Berserker, double Pyro. Like, I have a little bit too many bad... I have a few too many bad cards here. It's a little bit of everything here. 
I'm not gonna, I might get a lot of longevity out of these bronzes, though. I mean, I guess something that boosts this would be a good tactical as well. It's just scary, given the whole boost to it. All right. Okay, so Yarpin's the. F I want to play. I want to try playing Yarpin as the finisher. Like, don't play Yarpin until round three as just a massive point bomb. Try to get away with doing that with the leader ability. The best new. Oh, Tristelli. I love Tristelli. Tristelli is the best neutral card because you can always make a good enough excuse to include two or three specials, bronze specials in your deck. Right now, Northern Wind is pretty good. Every faction has like something that hit for five: assassination, rebuke, boiling oil, whatever. And then, you know, if you have like some really good bronze, something like very important, like maybe a Lacerate or a Nature or a Freya, um, in the Assimilate deck, you get uh, get Imperial Diplomacy, which allows you to double Assimilate proc. She's just good. She does so much. She does whatever you need her to do, and you build the deck around her, and she just works. And even though you hit your opponent's card sometimes, it's all good, fam. With that being said. Grinding those keys for kegs. What's up, arrogant nine inch guy? I'm assuming that's you're talking about your height. Excommunication. You are not worthy of the fire's purity. For not worthy of its light. I actually have a lot of fours already in my hand, so I probably get another power attack. Oh yeah, we get the uh skirm. Alright, this is pretty good, right? Portality. Mutants. Very interesting. Yeah, I probably want to remove one here. But I also want to get uh, value out of the pirate. Can't really. Pyrotech sucks. So just he's just gonna be playing crimes and stuff. So did I even give you good advice? I apologize. I think yeah. I think that the Trist Talley advice, like if you want good all around cards and the best neutral, like it's just you'll you can always find a deck. You can always find room. Like if you're if you're coming down to like optimizing and like min maxing against the meta stuff, that's later stuff. That's like more of a full collection stuff. But the good neutral cards right now feel like Geralt Axie. There's Trist Talley again, right? You see her all the time. She's great. Didn't boost that, huh? That's pretty good. I mean, the Pyrotechnician probably just whiffs. Dance! What's going on, Ralpha? I see you as well. I'm scrolling up a little bit to say hi to Blue Rob as well. Jamoni. I hope everyone's doing well as well. Aquata Joe, good to see you. Tall removal or reset? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vanilla Bean Tree, how you doing? Furco incoming. Did he play Royal Decree? He played Bank for Furco? For another Congregate, which he can get. Yes, you. Have you made your offering? Have you made your offering? I mean, there's just so many twos and ones. What a bad... I can't do it, right? Kneecaps broken. That was weird. I... S <laughs> it hit Tress, right? Use a pint. Yeah, 
It'd be a pretty interesting pass here. I'd have the resilience. Yarpin is such a huge play with leader. Is it enough to force him out? Plus I get to do three damage, so I get to knock the armor off of this. But then I've used leader. No, the fact that I'm talking about it being a big play is good enough reason to not do it. I'm protected though, right? I'm protected from an open pass. And that is the beauty of resilience, something that some people may only remember from the Morkvarg days, just always being blue coin protected. Morkvarg would always come back and your opponent couldn't just drop a, drop a hot pass on you. Pyrotech, yeah, get out of here, Pyrotechnician. I'm not a fan. Because it would be bad against monsters too, right? You just catch a drone and feel awful. What's up, Persian baby boy? The beard's coming in. Okay, you wanna you wanna do this, huh? Oh, my friend. That may be a bad decision, but it may be a good decision. You can play my defender as well. I don't have oak, I don't have a lot of good stuff here. This is an engine as well, so I can play this, defender. Defender first, I have two engines. What's up, my friends? Good to see you on a nice little evening short stream. Wow, he's throwing his leader out. He's getting the big money. What is happening here? Ooh, that's pretty scary. He's pushing. I guess I ha I'm forced to play later here. From the Bahookies. I didn't even see. It was only enough to knock the armor off. Pushing and pushing. Pushing and pushing. I can only tie it, right? One, two, three. And it's not even a sure thing. Maybe I should have played Erden, actually. Fuck. Fuck. No, Erden was the play, right? Damn it. I'm so stupid, because that's like a great oak card. No way! These can't hand buff and I need the armor to go on something that isn't the Enchantress. What a cruel world, dudes. What a cruel world. I mean, I have a lot of special cards. Well, what has armor here? We can play the Miner. Actually, we can do this still. The Miner, I guess. 
You're bounding faced, baby. Humans above, beasts below. I don't know which is worse. Those are not good uh, draws. I took out, um, there's a couple cards I took out that I, I'm really missing right now. Uh, one of them being the Mahakam Guard, I think. So Louisa Savola is still very much a threat. I wonder what what is Congregate? What are you getting out of? I mean, you can play. Ooh, this could miss. Or uh, sorry, can't miss. Can't miss. Kind of random. Can't even hit these things. I'm dead though, right? Yeah, what's going on, Weevil? Thanks for the host. I'm done though. I think I don't have a play here. Why did I play this here when I was going to be playing Oak? How silly of me. I lost a point. I just think about, I don't know, if there's any reason to stack. And for some reason, I just didn't really think. I have a lot of points here, though, dudes. Wait. Oh, no. 13 points? 20. He has 20? Whoo! Whoa! Nice! Nice! Oh man, and I lost the point too! That could have been so bad! Okay, hold on. Uh, the Pyrotechnician, I just don't think I'm running this card anymore. Cheddar Paul, I heard pizza. It's actually mozzarella, my friend, so get out of here. Ah, uh, it's just asking. So that Yarpin play though. That 15 point Yarpin felt pretty dope in that game as well. We had a really shabby starting hand too. And losing, so we lose the passive here, but it's not the end of the world. It just means that we don't have like a finisher bomb that isn't Oak, but we still have Oak, you know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, and we have a little bit of red coin against Lockdown, actual usurper. Yeah, vitality and bleed stay. So I think I'm going to be playing Iron Falcon Troubadour Minor Defender, but I don't know. Like I could play Troubadour for the Berserker, Minor to set up for the Defender right away. That seems better. That seems better. But I'm in, uh, now all my stuff is within joust range, so. I mean, Northern Realms. Like, it's just, it's like a, I don't know. It just feels like Rat of its Royal Guards, the miner. Seems very good. The lock. Just gonna lock it, huh? I'm actually gonna give it to the Defender. Because I might play Zoltan next to him. The Volunteers. Oh yeah, because it's not um, cause it's not Shoop anymore. There's no excuse for me to not run Volunteers. Except for the fact that maybe I don't want to run them. I, like, I have a very thin deck. I have a very thin deck. Could just as easily be locked again. Bronzy versus Bronzy, no problem. This is one of the this is one of the few opponents. Like usually, I get my opponent. My opponent is on blue coin. The tempo is unreal. Like I don't have any. I don't have any hope of actually uh, getting any more than just. Like I just lose last say. It feels like fighting for that last say. I have good plays here. I can play Zoltan's Company, Novogradian Justice for a full strength Mahakam Guard.
That's a lie. Not a full strength Mahakam guard. I'm one off. I'd have to play the Berserker first. I mean, if I play Zoltan first, it is. In fact, I should play Zoltan first to boost this up, but I don't know. It's not necessary yet. Pizza time stops. Ah. So if we play Zoltan, that's eight. So we're up to 30. And then the Mahakam Guard with Novogradian Justice is another uh, 15 points. It's good, right? enough. It's almost too many points. Erdin also takes it for us. That seems pretty fine. This might be the best. Nilfgaard's not a really boosty... Um, like we usually don't have a lot of opportunities for any resets, so playing Erdin into this seems pretty fine. Ah, uh, okay. That's fine. I have another resilient unit. And I do have a lot of, uh... More points than I th than he may think. So, Gabor procs twice with the 15 point Novogradian Justice. Okay, so this goes. This is a. Tw this is twelve points. And this is five points. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Is it a tie though? Because these two things still tick twice. All right, hold on here. We get one, two. Okay, this is the. This is twelve. I'm so North American, dudes. 17 points. It's really just 15, 16, 17 points. I tie with resilience. Tie with resilience. Not the worst thing in the world, though, because we do have uh, Novogradian Justice. We have Oak. There's Oak right there, actually, of Oak in our hand. The Dryad Enchantress will actually play pretty high on the Berserker, but I will drop this card here. Miner, I'm going to drop this as well. Wow, there's like kind of a lot of good cards in my deck. Watch me get the Infiltrator. No, I'll just get another 4P card. Well, I'll play the Marauder, and then I can play the other Marauder. And that way we get Gabor. Well, this doesn't double proc. I never got never double proc Gabor actually. So, what are we using Decree for? Decree can be anything, right? Decree can't kill that card, though. Decree can end up being Yarpin, though. Yarpin, uh, no, hold on. What's better? Xavier? Uh, Xavier. Because we have two, only two more dwarves to play. We want to play this Vitality soon. We also want to get points on this. The sooner I can kill Dodric, the better, though. So if we can get six units on the board for Oak, it's also good. So Figus helps us do that. But we can start the damage now with the Berserker, and then we can put the Vitality on it. Yeah! But putting the Vitality on Figus is also good. I think that's I think Figus is the best play actually. Ragnarug, very unexpected. I think this is good that we end up having a shorter round here. Definitely figures now. 
Yeah, I think Figus makes the most sense. Wow, and Krami and Nilfgaard. Oh man, imagine he had his best hand and couldn't beat me. That's pretty good for this deck, right? Sarah? This could hurt. Well, this is running out of any value at all, right? It's too bad. The forest holds many secrets. Huh. <sighs> Oh, I lost all the value on this, too. Bummer. I mean, my opponent actually has to play two extra rounds, so this does tick. That's disgusting. I can't believe this is actually what he's playing against me. He's going to beat me now because of this, but I would have always lost to this. I never, I never play around Dragon. I never play around Dragon's Dream. Dragon's Dream. Actual Dragon's Dream. Maybe I should have just... I mean, I don't know. Dragon's Dream. Okay. I mean, he lost a lot of value. Like, Ragnarok was not a super valuable card for him. Dragon's Dream will be pretty valuable for him. The lock is pretty meh for him. I still play this. So we finally killed Dodrick, I guess. We just finally killed Dodrick. We have a lot of points, my friends. It's crazy. So he had Ragnarok and Dragon's Dream, the Witcher duo, Dodrick, Roderick, Vanamar, which actually kills that in the back row. 43. Now he's only behind by 10 points. Does he have a 12-point card as his last card? Holy shit, he does. Wait, he doesn't. Oh, man! It damages him all by two. Wow! That was two games in a row. Two one-pointers in a row. Those were games. Those were games. Those are good highlights. Two two highlights is good, but three highlights. That would be pretty even better, right? Alright. Let's get this over with. I have a chance for my Skellige revenge. It's a really good hand for the guard. But I like playing guard with Novogradian Justice. I really do. I still can. I still can do that. Good old dwarves. I'm telling you, this Yarpin play is dope. The Yarpin play is good stuff. I mean, in theory, this should be good against Skelliger, right? I'm so excited for new content for this game. Like having this extra time to work on a new expansion. I know Cyberpunk's a big deal for them and I know that they're using a lot of the time for Cyberpunk and stuff. And I know mobile was a big deal, but I just feel like it's gonna be a rich expansion experience. So if we wanna play Zoltan, we can play only Zoltan's, we could play Zoltan's company, Novogratian Justice, and then Zoltan for carryover. That's nine cards. Something big is coming? 
Give me a wild, a wild. Oh man, I pulled a Mogwai. Wild hunt cards, please. Oh man, I pulled a Mogwai. I kind of said it. I kind of said it. Saris. And Roach. Yo, and still behind though, right? I mean, Gremist will always get me, right? They'll always be Gremist for this, but I have Gabor too. Crow Momsies. This card hurts to have in my hand. Oh shit, this is melee only. Xavier, no! Xavier, no! So I go ahead and I, well, no, oh shit, because he can play Morkvarg on this, right? We learned this. Morkvarg, Morkvarg. Maybe I pass. I pass, I pass. I lose last say, however, it may not be, it may not be that bad. We'll play a little smarter this time. But I screwed up, the melee stuff. I should have been stacking range the whole time. I'll do better next time. Atta. Very surprised you played a card. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised he's playing cards. Unfortunately, I don't have Erden or Decree, but I do have. Yarpin, who's really good right now. And I also have figures to save those cards, I guess. Or this is all he wants. Maybe I should have played something a little bit faster than this. It doesn't matter. He's still coming at me. He's still coming at me! Get him, Voitech! Can't wait for Hidden Cash and Saris nerf. They only just buffed Saris. It's funny, it was a buff, but Jason was like nervous. He couldn't stop he couldn't stop talking about how he thought he made it too strong. I'm like, Jason, just he said it like four times. Wow, Golden Froth, he didn't have a play for it. I think Figus is correct here. But I want Figus to protect this. Gabor is going to save my life, I think. I think I am doing it like this. Snogging a hedgehog's arse. Whoa. Oh, shit. Well, I have carryover. I know he's got good stuff, but I've got good stuff. But I need oak as well, right? Maybe I could have kept the, maybe the nature's rebuke was actually correct to keep, but it doesn't matter, right? Because I'm uh, 
fuck, perfect seven damage. I'm resetting, potentially, so it doesn't matter if I have to kill something. But no, I needed to play Xavier first because I want the the bonus to the armor. Old Carl. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think I have a chance? Ooh, now that we see the bomb heaver, it's probably it's probably the best time to ask if you think I have a chance here with the bomb heaver play. This actually gives him a point play, a one point play here. <laughs> yeah, it takes it. He takes it. It's actually kind of funny. If only that Berserker had hit the bomb heaver. What would he have done? He would have never gotten those two points. He would have never gotten that point. Watch me lose by a point. Oh, I'm going to lose by a point now. It's going to be that one point buff to the Abomination. Saving the ping for Saris. Okay, so Erden looks like not great. But what's the what's the second last card? It's just Saris, so it doesn't matter, right? Cause Morkvarg, Morkvarg kills Yarpin, right? So I have to just go for Oak here. Screw you, Lippy. I hate you. I hate you. I mean, we could win. I mean, we didn't even see what went into the graveyard. Skjall, Sigdrifas, and oh, Igni. Yeah, you did see an Igni. Ooh. It's funny, I didn't even notice that. Vince Vaughn? That's nice, thank you. Crow Mother's back in the deck, so it doesn't come out. So he played two. He played three, two of these Froth for low value. All right, so check out this. <laughs> check out this final play here. If this is Morkvarg, though, I'm done. But if this is Royal Decree for Saris, right? But I mean, this is a lot of points. Check this out. I hope it's enough points. Boom! 27 to 47 to 21. <laughs> it's actually going to be three one-point highlights. Actually one by one. Three games. I'm so glad I turned the stream on today. It was actually enough to beat Saris Finisher. It's the one-point wonder. Three, three, three games. I like the early game stuff. The strategy with the Zoltan's company and Zolt and Milgradian Ju Justice is good. Um, yeah, so we have Erden. The first game we played was against Congregate, and we did not have Erden. Now we do. And we do have it. And we also have Zoltan's Company and Novigradian Justice, which is such a good combo. Um, if this is the same deck that we played, is this even, this could actually be the same player? No, he has a different avatar. So, like, Horse and Senior. Artifacts are actually not necessary to remove. Wow, what a hand. What a hand. Figus is the first thing to get purified, so I'm not going to give him the extra armor for the... I'll give it to... Well, can I give it to Gabor? I have Royal Decree, and do I have Call the Forest as well? 
I do. This is probably like the one, two, three play that I want to make. Berserker, Enchantress, six points vitality, flip the lamp. Mutant. Okay, so he's playing Portal. He's playing Portal, I think, for sure. Blood! 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 I like seeing like all the I like seeing like all the um the delays. Everybody's delay. Call this one. Ah, no regretting justice of his own. Faced, baby. It's dwarf versus dwarves. The simplest methods yield the best results. We've no need for your forges. I couldn't end up playing like Figus Gabor. Playing Figus before playing resilient units not just defends them, but also eats a, eats a purify as well, an offensive purify. Oh, okay, so that's why you know if Pumpkin's playing it, I see it in my stream Def definitely. Like that shoot the shoot usurper thing, he was playing it that day. I saw that deck four times in my stream. I I love I love the Dryad Enchantress, like super good card I think. No meme. Tristali, huh? Bloody good fun. F where are you going to put it? Right here? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> bloody good fun for zero? Is that what he meant to do? He didn't mean to do that. Okay, so... Once again, Zoltan's company... Into Novigrad Injustice is full... Full uh, maximum Mahakam Guard. Damnation. Whoa. Oh, gross. It's like the best card he could ever play. All right. Shit. So we'll play Figus. We can still get a huge Mahakam guard. It's like the, I've never seen that card in my life, and I, he actually plays it against me. It's like the <laughs> it's like where new card, the pure, it's like the pure counter. It's like the pure counter. I can't believe that. All right. I think it's Figus, though, now. Now, now, it's, now I'm getting aggressive. Unbelievable. I can't believe that shit. <laughs> Damn nation. They're adjacent to each other and everything. Oh, that's actually a great pull. This is a great draw right before. So this actually still leads right into playing the Mahakam Guard. I also could just play Zoltan Ma or hmm. Actually, I play the Troubadour Range Drill. Then Mahakam Guard, then Zoltan. Interesting choice. Well, I think I might just be playing Yarpin and passing. Or Yarpin, Zoltan, pass. Or just go for the long round last say with Erden. No need to be greedy. I got the last say. That's what I wanted, right? That's the whole point. The whole point is the last say, right? The longer the round goes, the better the Mahakam guard play is going to be with this, if we end up doing that. I believe in the in the double Ys, the Ur the Erden Arpen. It's like it's the Toronto deck. You know the Toronto the airport for Toronto. The airport code is Y Y Z, Y Y Z Erden Yarpen Zigrin. Boom. What's going on, Zanxes? Thanks so much for the raid slash host.
Okay. Erden Row, right? No big deal. Bring it on. Not scared, just prepared. We have Yarpen on uh, Call of the Forest being stuck in there. Whatever. So Yarpen is Royal Decree. We have Erden for everything. Everything. Absolutely everything. Don't worry about anything else. No worries for the rest of your days. We want to play back row because Xavier's actually... But we have Oak. Um, yeah, we just play minor. So good. This is all yours, boy. If you survive. Now this I wanna kill, right? This is the stuff I wanna get rid of. So he plays a cut up lackey from hand as well. Does he or doesn't he? And I could potentially kill the other one if I get enough uh, bodies for Oak, but I don't know. That pass was pretty good. I don't think I'm going to get enough bodies for Oak. I could play Novogratty Injustice, Marauder, Marauder, but I have to play Miner first, right? But the Berserker could actually ping this once and then I can kill it with Yarpin, but this whole thing is just ridiculous, right? But this uh, this blocks pings to have, uh, you know, ar that's so funny. Like, let's get this artwork right. There we go. Player on Tavern Brawl? Oh, fuck. There, is he actually running Tavern Brawl? I just need one more body for Oak. Sir Skewertooth. Hmm. Well, Erden's gonna play, I just don't know for how much. Okay, so if all of these units stay on the board, we can kill the cut-up. Which is the biggest threat I see. Personally. That's good, that's nice and safe. Yeah, it didn't drop Savola, right? Because you got this as the tribute. The Percival of Crime. The Percival of Crime. What a way of putting it. <laughs> so true. I got this. Let's see. I mean, it's interesting, right? We got this last say, which is going to be pretty good. Oh, it looks like the back row is where it's going to be the best, as it turns out. There's Savola. Naked Savola. So, I mean, Xavier ended up being... I think I just had to play it like this because that cut-up was getting a lot of value. Must have misplayed. Did he, though? Did he? Maybe he did. Maybe he fucked it up. Maybe he did. Maybe he's paying too much attention to the stream. I'm just kidding, everybody. Uh, did I play that in a bad spot for Tavern Brawl? I wonder. Stream peaking, messing up tribute. I don't know. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. Oh, Tavern Brawl does exist. No. 
So where is the best Erden going to be? It's got, it's definitely the front row, right? 100%. So I can hit stuff on the back row. Gord. Oh, the poor fool. The poor fool. Not your lucky day. Boom! One pointer! Mm. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm serious. How is it possible? Four one point games, double back to back. Wow, I'm going to retire this deck as one of the best, the one hitter quitter. Yeah, let's quit it.